Good, good afternoon, everyone. It's Steve Cal Five JUF. Hope everyone's having a good afternoon out there. So, in continuing series here on the HRD uh, rig control, what I'm going to work, what I'm going to show you today is uh, my plan is I'm going to start getting into CW and RTTY with uh, Digimaster 780. So, part of that plan is what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize a feature that uh, HRD has where they already predefine. Um, regions or 10 meter frequencies 12 meter 14 uh, 15, you know 15 and all the way up to 160 they they preload those um, frequency ranges in there for each one of the specific meters that you're going to be working so what I'm going to show you today is I'm going to actually create some custom buttons where I'm going to actually make my own specific little regions of for example for CW or RTTY and so forth so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on selection and I'm going to click on bands now I'm going to go into band manager so I'll show you a little bit how this works here so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and when I click band manager this is the screen that's going to come up so since I'm only in region 2 I really don't need these extras to appear so I'm going to go ahead and just clear those out right away now when I click here what you notice is on the screen here you'll see 160 to 10 so here's 160 all the way to 10. now if i click down here you'll see uh, 160 all the way down to 70 centimeters so you know clicking here these buttons will appear clicking here these additional buttons will appear for two meter and uh, vhf so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create me some additional buttons over here. And these buttons are going to be uh, for our CW. And just to give you an example, if I click on the 10 meter button, that's going to take me to the 10 meter band. And if I use this slider down here, I'm going to stay within the 10 meter band. If I click 12 meter, the same thing happens here. I can go from one end of the band all the way to the other. Same thing for 20 meter, go all the way down to the end of the band, all the way to the up of the band. So my purpose here is I'm going to create three different buttons over here. One of them is going to be 10 meter CW, one will be 10 meter RTTY, and the third one will be 10 meter uh, CW1 because there's two regions for CW. So how we do that is we go back to the manager and we click this one, click edit. It's going to bring up the band editor. Now we've got the standard bands, and these are again these are the same bands that you see here. They're here. So if you wanted to remove one, for example, you could just go in and and uh, actually go in and remove it uh, if you wanted to, or disable it. And if you did that, then what would happen is you would have a let's see disable. Sorry, these are all enabled, I'm sorry. So what we'll do is, again, what you see is everything you see here is what you're going to see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to create three sub-bands. So what I'll do is next, I'll click New. The first one's going to be called CW, or 10 meter, CW. The frequency range will be 028. Dot zero 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 two eight dot zero seven zero. It'll be enabled. Watch what happens. It's going to pop up down here. See how it did that? We're going to create another one. This one here is going to be ten meter RTTY. Whoops, can't type. This frequency range here will be zero two eight. Dot zero seven zero zero two eight dot one five zero. That'll be RTTY. Make sure I got the frequency range right. Next one I'm going to do is the second part of 10 meter CW. I'm going to call this one CW1. Frequency range on that one's going to be 28 dot. Uh, one five zero zero twenty eight dot one nine zero and uh, make sure I got the frequency range right that's also CW 
And the last one I'm going to put in is for beacons. So if I'm going to call this one here 10 meter uh, beacons. Frequency range for that would be 28.200. The extent of that will be 28.300. And guess what? Above 300 is voice. So everything down here is digital. Uh, 10 meter beacons. All right, that looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move these all up so they kind of fall in place. So I'm going to select it, move up. Boom, right there. Click RTTY, move him up. And CW, move him up. Beacons, move them up. Yep, so that looks good there. So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to, uh, let's see here, these are all enabled, so these are good. Yeah, so this, this looks okay here. So I'm going to leave this like that. So when I click OK, what's going to happen is you're going to see some additional buttons pop in over here. Okay, let's re refresh the screen. Uh, let's see, where are we? Why aren't we not seeing? Oh, I got to enable it. I'm not sure how I did that. Okay, there's those extra buttons. So now I've got all these different buttons here. And I've got my 10 meter beacons. And what's be the beauty, beautiful thing about this, now that I've added these additional um, bands, which you see right here, what you see here, this one, this one, this one, this one, those are the ones I just added. Now they're down here. Take a look, beacons, CW, RTTY, CW, 10 meter. So the way this works is, if I click 10 meter, down here I've got the full spectrum, 28 all the way to 28700. But if I click CW, now what I have down here is strictly CW. Click RTTY, Everything I have down here is RTTY data. So you see how that works? Now I can kind of break things up a little bit more um, where they're easier to break and, and segment them down. So the next thing I'll do is I'm going to enter a CW calling frequency. So the way I do that is I go to Favorites and I go to Manager, go to 10 meter, and I'm going to add a frequency. And I'm going to call this uh, 28.060 megahertz. And I'm going to call this one QRPCW. And the frequency range for that is going to be 28.060 uh, and the mode will be upper, will be CW. Okay, so when I add that, it's going to pop up right here in the 10 meter folder. So there it is right there. So that takes care of that. So now over here, I can go to 10 meter, immediately go there. And if you need to change the modes, one of the things I'll show you real quick is that if you have a frequency, say for example, I'm going to change this one to CW. Okay, so what happens is it's going to remember the last mode. Uh, let's see where, oh, you know what? It doesn't actually. It, it does correct the mode on a favorite. So disregard that. So now what we have is now we have the ability to go to bands, click here, and this will bring up all of these different bands right here. So one of the things I might try real quick is trying something here. Let's go back to the manager real quick and let's go here. Let's go here uh, let's see let's try something I'm wondering if I can actually like disable some of these um, yeah I'll have to go back and figure out I was trying to figure out how to possible I guess I could delete it but I don't really want to delete it because I might want to bring it back at some point so we won't worry about that right now so at this point uh, the plan is I'm going to work on my radio and I've got some settings and what I'm going to do is I've got some settings that I'm going to get the radio configured and I've also got some settings for Digimaster 780 so the plan is if I do all these settings and everything 
the hope is I should be able to start sending CW with my uh, FT991A and I should be able to do RIDI also. There's still a lot of work to do, but initially the, the purpose here was just to show you how to customize the bands. And again, wherever you click over here, it's going to populate accordingly. So I'm going to go back to Region 2, and there's the four additional bands that I added. And again, when you click on one, you just scroll down here, and it'll keep you within that particular 10 meter, 10 meter beacon. Same thing here. All right, so that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good afternoon. 73 from KF5JUF. Thanks for watching.